Greetings, apocalyptic farmers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Zed City, Episode 4, Work the Earth. You guys want me to overwhelmingly make a farm. Got it. That will be next. So now that I have solar, um, build a farm. I do have a kitchen. I have enough renewable power for now. I'm probably going to want more. So in order to do a farm, I'm going to need to get irrigation. So that's the next in the queue. Ah, Zeusin, you want to join? I'm going to have Stormguard come join us too. Are we at, uh, we're at 5% threat. So basically at 5% threat, it means that zombies aren't going to be spawning anymore. So I just need to kill the ones that exist. Redfield, you need a break. Zeus, you need to go research irrigation. And then Stormguard, I'm going to have you delicately clear out the entryway as safely as possible without getting bit. I'm going to need more backup. Oh, good shot. I long for the day where she's not the only one with a decent firearm. I'm going to have all of them come out here. Safety numbers. Oh, good. Yep. That potato plant was totally worth planting. A plus. All right, Redfield, what do you need? You need uh, everything. All right, go back to the base. Stormguard, do you have a meal on you? Yeah, eat it. Picnic with the zombies. All right, what are we missing? So for me to build a farm, I'm going to need more steel uh, to set up like the irrigation, the sun lamp, stuff like that. So I'm looking for stockpiles of steel or items that can be broken down into steel at, at high volume. So like air conditioners and smelters and the like. And we've killed about half the zombies on the map. Here we go. I think I have a clear shot to this steel here. Yep. And I'm just having her grab it and toss it in the walls where others can move it. I'm not worried about her bringing it all the way in. Someone else can do that. If it's 51% heading to zero, that means in the next 24 hours, we're going to go from 51% threat, which is what we were at, to 0% threat. But zombies do not despawn at 0% threat. By default, they do. But I changed Zombie Land's default settings so that zombies just... At 0% threat, they won't spawn, but they will, you know, persist. So that's what's happening right now is that they're not spawning any longer. So as I kill zombies, they're not being added. Um, but they're a continued uh, menace. 
So Redfield, let's go ahead and get, I'm going to pause on more solar uh, power, knowing that I'm going to have a grow light based, um, a grow light based farm. I'm going to start to get solar out because solar is going to help to offset the cost of a grow lamp. The grow season uh, on this map is pretty short, so there's honestly not a lot of point to have uh, uh, an irrigated farm that isn't covered. As it won't last very long. There is a max l number of zombies, but yeah, if I don't continue to clear it, it does get to a point where they hit critical mass and it gets very dangerous. So it's one of those you have to continue to kill them off or uh, or you're going to get wrecked. Badly, badly wrecked. Especially if they're um, amassing in high traffic areas, like around my gate. Like, it doesn't really matter if there's tons of zombies back here in a big cluster, because what are they going to do? They're not going to attack the base from that spot. But as they get closer and closer and closer to where I live, that's when they pose far more of a threat. Because they'll start breaching the walls, breaching the doors, pushing themselves over the walls, you know, and getting inside. Where the results of that are pretty fatal. I will need to do some hunting soon. So I'm going to have Stormguard start to clear them out here so I can go hunting again. Yep, they're not cabled yet. Mad raccoons. Okay, so they're not manhunters. They don't have scoria. So they're edible. Uh, how many of them? Three. comes the hunting. So once this squirrel's done, the zombie population around the gate isn't so bad. Should allow me to go hunting. And I can also haul the raccoons inside. Would fire mazes be viable? Um, to some degree, although the fuel for the fire mazes might become a bit of an issue. Plus, um, in zombie land, zombies burn for a long time. So zombie mazes aren't entirely all that effective as a result because the zombies will get very far through a maze by the time they die from fire. Uh, so it's not to say that it's it's not an effective tool, it's just less effective than you might think. It's 
sometimes they just don't want to die. So Guerrero's still smelting. Everything's interconnected, so we have plenty of power. So power's not going to be a problem. That's great. Uh, this shelf is going to be critically important for meals. That's the meal shelf now. So then when we make meals, I will take it to the nicest stockpile. Now back to what I originally wanted to do, which was to hunt because we only have one day of zero threat and then we're going to be threat climbing again. So what is edible? I see a bunch of wolves around, but that's like not easy kills for food. Wildlife. Bunch of alpaca, but they're yeah, they're actually not too far. There's three zombies there, some ibex here. The ibex are so close to the map edge though that I bet they dip beyond the map edge if I try to shoot them. God, what pathing are you taking? Ah, this sketches me out. Just keep running. Just keep running. Run through the ruins. Oh, you're going to... That's going to be a problem. You can see they require a high level of babysitting once they're out beyond the walls. Still more blight. Jesus. We are... I think there's one piece of slag left. No, three slag left in the walls. So we're almost out of slag to grab. And then it is going to be time to do some hunting. As soon as Stormguard's up and eaten. I might send uh, Zeusin and uh, Redfield out to help with hunting just so we can stock up high. Because it looks like on the threat scales, you can see we're not going to have a breather for another week or so. So we need about a week's worth of food as a result. So having three people to hunt makes the horde clearing a little bit easier. Also, some food coming to us for a change. The fog doesn't help. Fog kind of sucks. It's going to make it hard to, uh, to hunt and kill zombies effectively in the fog. And uh, if you're wondering about the legendary bed, I'll go for it once we need it. We don't need it yet. I'm going to starve way before I need a nice bed. Higher of needs matter. All right, so there's that one to kill. Whoop! Oh, that one's getting close. Nope. Don't shoot the solar panel. I got punched. Okay, that's good. It wasn't a fight. Speaking of hospital bed, stop shooting the cables. Because I don't own them. A misclick means that like my people go, oh yeah, let's just shoot at inanimate objects that don't matter. I mean, it's my misclick. I own the mistake, but it's very annoying when it happens. So we shot at the solar generator and shot at the aimed at the the power cables even though that's absolutely not what I wanted them to do 
Now, if you have a high enough level brawler or you're armored enough, you are able to um, tank a little bit. Okay, we did get irrigation, which is going to be useful for the farms. Uh, so next I can get... I'm going to add some more options to the, the poll. So we could get heating, which is, allows us to uh, eventually get... So heating leads to central heating, and central heating will allow us to have heated showers and bathtubs. Which is good for cleanliness, hygiene, morale. Uh, we could do modern bathroom. So modern bathroom would allow us to, to get um, sinks and toilets. I'm probably not going to use a regular toilet. I actually want a composting toilet. But, you know, that's always a choice. Uh, we can do um, smithing. Which gives us the zombie thumper and, you know, it leads us to machining, which is kind of important. Microelectronics. Um, yeah. I think that's all I'm going to offer for there for now. I guess beer brewing? No, I'm not going to. I think we're going to need um, the farm to be just for edible crops initially. Come on, Alpaca. Don't go running. No friendly fire. Ugh. You can see why hunting is kind of annoying. Because I'm like deep in a ruined city surrounded by zombies trying to hunt. The fog sucks. Now I have to micromanage two people moving through a ruined city. That's fun. Smithing seems to be leading. So I'll get it. All right. Redfield has a clear path except for this zombie on the way back. Stormguard's taking kind of the same path. That zombie did pick up on his trail. Stormguard's going to need to stop to kill it. Done. Alright, she's already healed from her punch. It was a punch, so it was not particularly serious. And we are starting to get uh, biosolids. Biosolids is uh, fertilizer, basically. Or exactly fertilizer. So, um, I'm going to plan a farm. I would like to use the steam geyser as a source of heat for the farm. Because, um, this map tile gets pretty cold at night. So I'm planning on, um, using the geyser as a, as a source of heat. We'll do a slate door. And then the farm itself is going to be a greenhouse sun lamp so that we can grow year round. And then it's also going to need to get irrigated because, uh, by default, as you can see, my soil fertility overlay is on. The soil isn't really fertile enough to grow without irrigation and fertilizer. So we'll add in uh, fertilizer. And an irrigation sprinkler. And then we'll change the irrigation sprinkler's radius to compress a little bit to save us some water. Uh, I'm also going to need to probably 
get some more uh, water pumps and another water well. So I'm going to set up another water well. Uh, let's do here. And then I'm going to put the pumps um, out back. Just because they're going to be more isolated from damage. Alright, build a farm. Uh, then, of course, this farm get walled off. I might at some point consider double walling it. Um, if the temperature, the ambient temperature is really a problem. But the hope is that uh, the geothermal geyser and maybe like one heater will be enough. Come on, eat. I'm also going to want to continue to do more hunting because it's going to be hard to keep everyone fed if I don't. So Stormguard in the morning will go hunting. I just wish there was more animals closer to my base. All the animals close to the base are like tiny little critters that are going to yield no meat. Wild boar around, though. Oh, we got an electric one. Okay. I'm going to spend the steel here just to uh, floor this up so that there's nothing flammable in this room in case the room gets hot. Let's get back to hunting. So I Ibex I spotted probably the easiest, closest target. Also, uh, might need to Okay, so threats um, going up. I feel like the game's music knows the threats going up. I'm gonna haul some steel uh, and then try to get a little hunting done before it gets too dangerous to be outside. Ibex is gone. There you go. Uh, I am going to caravan her again, just so I can pick up some more stuff. Because resource scarcity is uh, kind of intense. You need water, not urgently. Slags basically just compressed steel. 
So if I can't find nice stacks of steel, I can always do slag. That was a pretty good uh, hunt yield. Now there's 111 zombies out, but because they spawn near the edge of the map, uh, it takes them a while to get to the core, giving me a little bit more time to do some hunting, but I can't get close to the edge of the map without some serious risk because of how many there are. Anything else good to hunt around? I think I scared the boar off. Uh, that Ibex probably died somewhere really dangerous for me to travel. So, I think this time I will just haul some steel home. And I hope the three boar keep us fed. Stay within the base walls. I'll continue to look for, like, easy hunting opportunities. But I'm not about to breach in here with those zombies guarding, essentially, the door. And, yeah, that Ibex is downed and it will soon be eaten by the zombies. The boar bolted north. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't see any... All the uh, all the alpacas way up north. Yeah, I don't see any hunting opportunities that are going to be um, non-suicidal. Maybe this... Well, it's still surrounded by... Uh, maybe that boar there? Possibly? Dep depends on how ambitious I am with my hunting. And zombie killing. Uh, Alright, so the... Irrigation Sprinkler is... uh ramped down a little bit. Uh, I am going to need to run power and water out to there to get that going, uh, but I want to get it covered first. And they're starting to pile up at my entryway. They're going to be enraged soon. Oh boy. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, giant fire. Uh, well, there goes all that cloth that I could have recovered. Rip. It, it seems like I'm out of slate, which is fine because there's plenty of slate. Uh, around the world here. So I'm going to do any stone block cut and drop. And then we'll have this done. Um, I'll put slate flooring in here. So this is just for like lights and heating inside the farming area. Like how it goes for limestone first. Pristine ruins found. Well, I'm not going to be able to get there with my current tech and people. Going to need to do some purging here. We are heading to a zero threat, as you can see on the forecast, in about a day. But because it's such a short period of zero threat, it's just a good time to kill off some zombies, not probably to um, actually go out and about. We've got plenty of blocks, so let's make sure that they're constructing. Mm. 
And Zeusin and Redfield are now a couple. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. They've paired off. Uh... I'll leave one bed. For, like, a hospital. Oh, good. That's getting covered. Awesome. Farm is coming. Oh, there goes my power. And Eclipse. And now they're actually bedrooms. Which might help with... Um, well, it's an awful bedroom. But it might help with mood a little bit. So it's an eclipse. Um, the pathway's a little clear. Once we hit zero threat, I might send everyone out that has a gun to try to do some, some clearing. They're starting to hoard up, though. I'm going to do a quick scan for any special zombies that could be trouble. Oh, come on. I don't want that fire to go destroy the solar generator. The solar generator is a good amount of steel. That Ibex did die. And... Huh. It has not been eaten yet. I don't see any specials. Other than that blue one there. That melee only one. But yeah, they're starting to pile up around the entry gate. Is there still slag down here? Yeah, there still is, so I'll leave that on. I have enough renewable power that it doesn't really matter if the smelter's on or not. Okay, so we have lights in there. Uh, now it's time to actually start growing something. Create a growing zone. Oh, uh, it's not irrigated yet. Yeah. The, there we go. The irrigation sprinkler's going off, and it's going to make the ground now able to, with, uh, to support. Oh, there's stony soil there? Dang, I didn't notice that. Uh, it's gonna make it so that I can support, uh, Plants. I'll put rice in there. Cool. We have a farm. This is just one thing of stony soil. Not a big deal. Uh, then, so that we don't absolutely drain out our water tower, I'm going to get a... <gasps> Lightning took out my wind pump. Oh, God dang it. Somehow, we didn't even fight the fire. Like, it just went and nobody did a thing. Um, yeah, I didn't even notice at all. So these trees are not that grown. I'm going to start clearing out the zombies with uh, Stormguard so that I can get out there and collect some wood. Because we're running low on resources. Redfield, you're going to shoot someone. 
friendly fire shoot someone. Alright, yeah, we're having power problems, but that's mostly just due to the eclipse. So th this is kind of a a power issue, mm, to, I, you know, in my opinion, to be ignored. One that won't be a problem under normal circumstances. Okay, there we go. That will help a lot. So we need water, or rather, we need, um... Wood, steel, meat, everything. I think there was cabling. Yeah, there's some cabling under here. I can get rid of. Just because I don't want a conducting power and then ever uh, exploding. Uh, what I really need is this wind pump going. So, uh, everyone that can hold a gun... If you eat, and you eat, and then I'm going to go out there or run on some uh, resources. trying to what I need to do is eventually once I have the labor time is to clear out a lot of these ruins so zombies can't get stuck and to become hard to kill as a result because as they're stuck down here they're just hard to get to hard to properly path towards my my kill box but I don't I don't really have the time or energy to uh, fix that at the moment you know because it takes a while and it's not safe to stand out there as we clear it uh, so, wood. One of the issues that we have is, like, there's been rampant giant fires. So most of the stockpiles of wood that were out here are kind of gone. Uh, so if we want wood, I'm going to need to cut trees down. Stormgarden Redfield, what are you going to do in the meantime as she's cutting down trees? I could run for some steel. I think she's pretty safe out here, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my camera red, just to acknowledge things ain't safe right now. Things are dangerous. I should have gone for that boar. I'll do that in a second. I could put out the fire. It's pretty well contained now. Good shot. Oh, it's just a sleeping boar. How many times are you going to miss? All of them. Thank you for watching RimWorld Zed City, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 1st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, including this one. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, a link to Discord can be found on my website or in the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much.
I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow survivors. <laughs>